everyone, it's Elizabeth of ERW Plans and Elizabeth Williamsburg Planner Concepts. On Instagram, it's ERW underscore plans. On Etsy, ERW Plans. And online, ERWplans.com. Today, I'm going to show you how we're setting up my monthly passions planner spread for July. Um, what we'll be using today for our spread, we have, of course, our passion planner. This is the 2019 dated passion planner, ocean blue in the medium or pro size. We have our silhouette spatula tool, our slice tool, our Midori ruler, assortment of empty washi tapes, um, our pen and eraser, and then our stickers. The big exciting sticker that I have right here is from Elizabeth Williamsburg Planner Concepts. This is the monthly planner kit. It's one of two sheets that you will get every month if you subscribe as a monthly member at the passion tier on my Patreon campaign. So if you go to the link in the comments for the Patreon and you subscribe to the passion level monthly subscription, you will get this sheet and another sheet that go on to the monthly every month for as long as you're a member. This is the one you'll get if you subscribe now for July. There are also a lot of different rewards that you get at the different levels, but just so you know, that's the only way you get this particular sheet is if you're a monthly subscriber at the passionate level. We're also gonna be using Chelsea Brown stickers today. We have the Days of the Week monthly in the Roxanne color palette. We have the social media review stickers in the Catalina color. And we have one sheet of the August dated kit. Um, first things first, it's July. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, ooh, it should be like red, white, and blue and patriotic. And this is going to be a predominantly red and blue themed kit. Um, for those of you that don't know, if this is your first time seeing me do a monthly video, I have like a synesthesia about months. Each month has a color in my head. In July, the color is red. Um, June is coral, kind of like a pinkish orange color, um, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the months tend to have those colors predominant depending on what the month is. July is mostly red. Now, I know a lot of you guys, because most of my audience is in America, most of you guys are like, ooh, yay, Independence Day, 4th of July. But <laughs> that's not the only country out there that has a holiday in the month of July. The awesome thing is, though, that the other um, holiday that I like to celebrate is Bastille Day, which is like French Independence Day, essentially. They are super entwined, our Independence Day and Bastille Day. Um, Thomas Jefferson borrowed ideas from French philosophers to write the Declaration of Independence. And then the French Revolution was inspired by our Declaration of Independence and Thomas Jefferson. So it's this really nice kind of circle. They're very intertwined. And so definitely gonna add some blue to my red for the month, but I don't wanna do stars and stripes or anything super patriotic because I'm also celebrating France. There's also more than 100 countries out there that use red and blue as their color scheme, and many of them have holidays in the month of July. So we're doing red and blue, but it's not a USA thing. It's a, hey, July is a red month for me, and red and blue will celebrate a lot of countries and a lot of holidays. So, just to get that out of the way. Um, first things first, we will start with, as always, we decorate top down and I do this upside down to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So, 
I have this set of MT washi tapes here, which has this kind of red and blue color stripe that I had considered using for this spread. But the, it's very muted color palette. And if you can't see, the Chelsea stickers that I'm going to be using are very bright. The red that I use for this month is a very bright red as well. So instead of doing that, we're going to do this like gradated blue color, also from MT. This is out of their rainbow set. So if you have the gradated rainbow from MT, that's what we got going on here. It's kind of thin for the top of my planner here. Um, I would usually use something a little bit thicker, but I happen, I just really liked this color and this color combination for this month since we're doing this red and blue kind of theme. So get in there, let's mush it down with my spatula tool and then keep going across the top. You'll notice it's kind of sloppy over here. Don't really care so much. All right, we have our ruler and our slice tool. Line it up with the edge here. And then I always do three slices to make sure it goes all the way through without cutting through the paper. We have that side done, which is gonna go over here, do the same thing on the opposite side. And now we have that all nice and neat. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add in my squares here. Because there's a, on the flourish lettering that I like to use, there's a little bit that hangs down. It'll hang down onto that square and it gets real messy real quick. Now this is the August kit from Chelsea's um, store. However, the nice thing about August and July is that they have the same number of days, 31. And the exceptionally nice thing about them is that this year they have the same number of gray days if you have a Sunday start. So it's a five week. Uh, there's 31 days, five weeks, seven days a week is 35. So you're gonna have four grayed out squares. And it just so happens to work out that you have three down here and one up here. So you can use the August kit in July. We'll kind of go over this in another video that I have coming up about how to, for example, redate a planner where let's say there's not something that, that that's symmetrical for the kit that you're going to be using. For example, how you could use this kit if you wanted it, let's say in September where you have five blank days at the bottom. But for right now, we're gonna use this kit. On this day, as always, I remind you guys, Chelsea stickers not removable. So make sure you have everything lined up the way you want it before you stick it. Okay, now we have this covered. We have this covered. We can just go right on ahead and do our days of the week at the top. Moving right along here, we use our spatula tool so that we can lift this off, put it on our spatula, and then just line it up. And place it down. And we're just gonna go along the top and do that. I like to use a spatula tool um, if I haven't gone over this before, and I think I have. I like to use the spatula tool because, as I just said a couple of minutes ago, Chelsea sticker is not removable. I can line them up, the sticker up with the spatula and make sure it fits appropriately before I stick it down. And then if I need to nudge it while it's still kind of sitting loosely on top of the paper, I can take the spatula and just make little movements like that against it to nudge it into place. Or if I don't stick it down in exactly the correct way and it's a little bit crooked, I can also use a spatula tool to lift it ever so gently up 
and move it into the correct spot before I push it down. And it allows me to do a lot of fine movements to make tiny little adjustments that would otherwise bother me. Okay, have our first row done. We'll go ahead and do our second row here for Wednesday. Um, I've already done the stickers for the holiday, which Chelsea's kit only comes with an Independence Day sticker. Just, you know, kind of sad because we just talked about there being a lot of holidays this month, but that's something also that we can fill in later. You know, in the future, maybe some like international holidays would be nice. I'm just saying, you know. So I'm just going to keep stickering across the top here. With our nice, these are um, the color for these stickers is called CBD Red. Just if you're going to go onto Chelsea's store and order, that's what you're looking for for these. Uh, the color palette is Roxanne. I do that because I don't need, I'm not going to do an entire year or even multiple months in the same color. Obviously, this is my July set. This is my June color here, this is my August color here, and this is my December color here. So I get this color palette, and then I've got four months worth of stickers here with an extra set in case I make a mistake, or if I don't make any mistakes, I can use those next year as well, since I will be using a pro again, because unlike some people, I love the pro size. I think it really is a perfect size. So... Top is done. I'm gonna just turn us sideways real quick so that you can see. I'm gonna put on the social media sticker. We're gonna line this up. I like to line these up concerned with the edge that's vertical more so than whether or not it's straight across the top because if you get the vertical edge lined up correctly it will be straight across the top as well. And then we can just push it down, like so. So that's set. And then the last thing to do is to put on our July monthly sticker. And I'm using a July monthly sticker out of the Erin Condren book. That's uh, the, I think this is a 2019 monthly sticker book. Cover that up there. It'll cover up a bit of my social media sticker, but that's okay. There's July. Now, there are, I usually use these gold, rose gold colored um, days, as you can see here from Chelsea's store. Um, but I wanted to keep everything kind of silver as well as red and blue. So we're just going to go ahead and use the blue dates that came with the kit. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover up all those numbers right now. Once again, we're going to use our spatula tool. You can probably scoop it off with the spatula, but I'm, I like them to be very precise. So I need to have total control there. I used to do this without the spatula and it was kind of crazy. They would be a little bit crooked, but never in the same way. It was just kind of sad. Doing it this way just like it gives me this really nice amount of control. It allows me to make sure everything is as straight as possible. And as you can see with this one here, we can just nudge things ever so slightly into place if they're ever so slightly off. Use the spatula to drop it down lightly 
and then nudge it into place before you push it down. And that way when you make mistakes, it's not so much the end of the world. So just a very gentle process. All right, let's keep going. Now that I have all of my numbers, we can go ahead and finish the bottom of our planner. Once again, this is the monthly sticker that you'll get every month as one of your uh, four sheets if you are at the passionate level of our Patreon. It includes five stickers, a this month I will to set your intentions or goals for the month, a most memorable moment sticker um, where you can put in a picture, a two by three inch picture from either your uh, Canon Ivy or your HP Sprocket or your whatever other portable printing device you have. We have a level 10 life goals um, sticker here. It's dot grid. I made it dot grid with the intention that you could write in your goal, which is how I will use it. But there's also um, 10 it just happened to work out that the grid is 10 across after the um, labels. So you could also use it to count out, like, and make a bar graph of what your goals are that you've already accomplished and mark the ones for this month. We have this month's focus sticker, which can be either your intention for the month or your big goal for the month. And then we have a giant game changer uh, sticker at the bottom. Um, you have a much smaller area for a game changer mind map here. But we also broke it down on the other side into a timeline, actions, and relationships. What and when, how, and with whom. So for this month, I'm going to cover my bottom left side of my planner over here where we have the projects area. I'm going to cover those with my level 10 life goals. All of these stickers currently are being hand cut. so. Sometimes, especially with this particular paper, the paper that I am printing on is waterproof and it's, oh my gosh, it's like writing on a cloud. It's amazing. It's also um, repositionable one time. It just means that because I'm hand cutting it at the moment, it's sometimes can, ha you might need a little, use a little scissors, give it a little love. And then we're just going to stick that right there. On the other side where we have the work project, I'm going to use my most memorable moment sticker. Oh my gosh, I love this. This sticker paper just makes me so freaking happy. I love it. All right, come on. I said, remember, it's removable one time only, so no more sticking. Get in the wrong spot for me. And then finally, I'm going to use my giant game changer sticker that covers up the space of infinite possibility game changer area over here. Come on. I said all of it's hand cut, so sometimes hand cutting means things don't always work out exactly the way they should. But that's okay because I say that's okay awful lot, I feel. So we can always just take our scissors and make the little cuts that we need to. Just to kind of give it a little helping hand here. Obviously once I have my Patreon fully funded, because that is the goal of the Patreon, is to fully fund so that I can get some silhouette machines. So then these will be cut a little bit neater. Until then, everything's hand cut by me with an X-Acto knife. I'm going to line this up right here. I'm going to pull it a little closer to me to make sure everything is in line.
much like with the sidebar, I'm going to try and line up the long edge first. And then once I've got the long edge lined up, I can smooth the rest of it down. For this sticker here, I know it's a little bit different than what you're usually used to with doing the mind map in this area. There's a method to this madness, as always. We're gonna do like a mini mind map over here, because I find I don't need the whole space for my mind map usually. So I'm gonna do like a little mini mind map here of my game changer. And then I'm going to do my timeline actions and relationships, which as I helpfully put on the sticker, tells you what and when, how, and with whom. Um, there will be a video next week giving you more details because next week I'm going to show you how I'm doing my mid-year roadmap. So you can roadmap along with me, which will be a one-take video and very interesting. And in that I'm going to address how we will use this space here. I'm going to have a sticker for this that will be our relationship map to match. So we will have a passion roadmap here, our passion plan brainstorm here, and then we're going to have a relationship map down here. And like I said, we're going to, we'll go over what all of that means next week. And then you'll see how we will use this to fill in this. Until then, this is my July spread. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching my video. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe right up in the upper left-hand corner of your screen there. Also, make sure you leave a comment and like this video. Uh, again, my Insta is ERW underscore plans. The website is erwplans.com. The Etsy shop is ERW Plans, and it's called Elizabeth Williamsburg Planner Concepts. And we have a Patreon account for ERW Plans, Elizabeth Williamsburg Planner Concepts. Your monthly subscription kit gets you that sheet that we used today, plus two or three more sheets in addition to the sheets that you get with the other levels. So check that out. If you have questions, comments, let me know. Um, until next time, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next Wednesday at 7 a.m.